I just just threw this. So the lad left the door open. So John gets out to go round to shut the door. And as he shut the door, the fella fronts him up, swings a haymaker at him. So John lamped him. He said the fella went back. He said like a coil spring, bounced back up. So he was off his, off his head and stuff. Next minute they're tussling. The girl stabbed him three times mm. in the back and the behind. She got out the cabin as he was fighting with the fella, she stabbed him three times. Seriously. Often you get like passengers like trying to cause trouble and I can imagine it's more on a night. You probably on a on a Saturday night, you don't really Do you know people say like the job the job's bad. Yeah. The job's the job's as bad as you make it. Exactly, exactly. If you're if you're bad with the customer, then the customer's gonna be bad with you. Yeah. And that's the problem. It only happened about two weeks ago. Um so once again Saturday night's coming into town down to St John's Lane by the casino. Two lads stepped off the sidewalk. I'm in the, I'm in built up traffic, so when the lights can't go anyway. And he comes to the window and he went, Yeah, we're going to Newton Willows. And I went, Oh, okay, right. And next minute, it's just seen a fella leaning against the wall. I'll just move down a second. And um, he was leaning against the wall and uh, he went, I'm just going to get me right. And I said, No, I'm not taking it because three lads, one absolutely hammered, two looking like they're up for game on, go to Newton Willows, me on me, Jack Jones, ain't happening. Fighting with a soldier, with a soldier. Well, on yeah. both seats, and I didn't really. He went crazy on yeah. this girl outside the cab. The girl was terrified, he didn't know her, he was screaming in the face, and he was looking to lash out. So I got out the cab, yeah. and he's this guy's only about 25, but I'd I'd sort of forgot. He come in my face then, and like screaming about him, um, Do you know what day it is? Do you know what day it is? And I'm saying, well, What day is it? It was Remembrance Sunday, so he's on one, isn't he? Because yeah. it's it, obviously he's been in war. And he's looking at people walking past three or four months and just living the normal life. He'd lost the plot a bit. But he went to attack me and it was more like in a scuffle with him. But luckily enough, the police came and he got old and he got a grip and they arrested him. But, you know, I sympathise with him. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it doesn't give him the right to go around doing that to people. But the young girl, it's in his eyes, I think he was on drugs as well, so that didn't help him. He pulled over on Everton Road, this is true, this is the weirdest thing happened, right? So the next minute he went saying, listen mate, get out, he said, I'll take you to her address. He said, you've got me plate number, he said, if there's any problems, no problem. He said, but you're going no further. So the lad got out the cab, now this, this is where the cab driver never makes a mistake, the lad left the door open. You never get out, you never get involved. As a cab, our old golden rule, never get involved in domestics, right, between a boy and a girl. And this is the reason why, like, this is true, this. So the lad left the door open, so John, gets out to go round to shut the door. And as he's shutting the door, the fella fronts him up, swings a haymaker at him. So John lamped him. He said the fella went back. He said like a coil spring, bounced back up. So he's off his, off his head and stuff. Next minute they're tussling. The girl stabbed him three times oh in the back and the behind. She got out the cabin as he's fighting with the fella, she stabbed him three times. Seriously. Your mate? Stabbed me like man. He's not with me now, I'm on my own now. But stabbed him three times, yeah. With what I was, I think it was a nail file or something, but she was at him, stabbed him t twice in the bum and in the back. Oh Seriously, proper, give it to him. And as he turned around, he said he felt his hand wet, and as he turns around, he's, he's grappling with the girl, and because you don't know it's a syringe or because I've seen syringes, I've seen everything. So as he's doing this, the fella legs it off, right? And he's grappling with the girl, and next, all cabs pull up, police. The girl ends up getting nicked, bangs up, goes to court, all cad. She couldn't give the fella's name. So he thought he was doing the right thing by helping the girl. And as, as he's fighting over that, she gets out and just gives it to him. The job change, the actual job itself is is a, is an education. I come on these about seven years ago. I mean, I was making Navy 15 years and 24 years in construction. And now I'm on the cabs. And when I come on the cabs, it changes your outlook of human beings. It gives you a different perspective. You see the, the best and the worst of everything. And, you know, the dropouts, the vagrants, the humble people. It's it's very knowledgeable just being in a cab. Yeah. And it can be really, you know, most times 
90% of the time it's great. Just chatting away, I like it. Yeah. But uh, I say you have your bad moments, don't you? 